Hi, do you want to learn how I drew this cat? Okay, well there's a reference photo. First of all, it stemmed from this image and somebody asked for a walkthrough, so I'm just showing you the layers. I took a picture of my cat, cropped it how I wanted it, and really simply I just drew over top of the picture and then I got rid of the other image and just gave it a black background. And that's it. So for starters, I'm just going to go grab an image of my cat again and crop it to how I want it. Beautiful. And I'm going to make a black background and add a new layer on top of that. And this is the tedious part that took me about two hours. I color grab each section and with a small studio pen on Procreate, start drawing individual hairs. And you might be thinking, wow, the payoff has got to be great. <laughs> well, you're incorrect. It takes hours. And watching it is quite boring because you can't see any of the work I'm doing because I'm literally drawing the same colors right over top. But yeah, it's worth the process. And if you have a lot of time on your hands, it's it's great. Okay, okay. So here, here's what it, it looks like. But here, if I remove the layer, you can see what I'm actually accomplished. And as you can see, it's um, it's depressing because that was already like an hour's worth of work. Yeah. Anyways, back to it. Just listen to music. Okay, so this part is a little bit easier because Alex is just grabbing and taking from the actual layer that she had all her, that she color grabbed from before. Now she's just grabbing from the same layer and then just filling in any spots that are that are lacking color or need extra color. Want to mention how good it looks? Wow, look at that eye. It looks so good. It's finally it's finally looks like something compared to the other eye, which looks like it needs a lot of work. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> also, fun fact about our cat is she has a split nose, so one side is like a dark maroony brown and the other side is pink. That's why it'll look a little bit different than Yeah, I'm not a fully I'm not messing up. It's full, just her nose. Yeah. It'll look different than a fully uniform cat nose, I guess, which most cats probably have. She's special. According to Alex, it's very important to always constantly check your picture layer compared to your previously drawn layer. So as you can see, she's always flipping back and forth just to see if what she's doing resembles what the picture shows. Also I need to look at it to feel like I'm accomplishing something. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Also, when 
it comes to like white hair, you can just go for it. Just make it up. It's fine. No one's gonna know. As long as you keep the right outline, have some creativity. Basically, it's just free play. <laughs> I'm not gonna be like, oh, that whisker is totally off. <laughs> but I did make sure I placed the whiskers exactly where they're supposed to be. I felt like they were an integral part to selling it. That's a good point. She does have some pretty gnarly, gnarly whiskers. Yeah, gnarly yeah. And long whiskers. But honestly, like, it's not about making it perfect. It's just about getting the gist and grabbing enough of the colors that you can sell it. I don't know. If so. Also, I messed up here, and the gray I used is too dark. But as you can see, like when I take off the other layer, you can't even see it, and it adds a little bit more depth to the wiper anyway. So I'm just gonna run with it. show why it's important to take off the background layer because filling in a lot of these dark spots you can't even tell that you've missed them so you just grab the color and you just start filling it in bulk it makes it so much easier especially once you already have the gist in. and yep yep <laughs> yep yep, yep. <laughs> Okay, I just want to show you guys this moment because I'm actually finally feeling it. And as you can see, I'm going to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I'm just looking for any blank spots that need a little bit more color. But more or less, I'm feeling pretty confident at this point. It looks awesome. Okay, now for the bane of the entire picture, it's adding the whiskers on. And it's actually a lot harder than I thought it would be because I can't see the whiskers on the original layer anymore because I've drawn all over it. So here I'm trying to figure out like if I can change the opacity and see the layers better, or see the whiskers better, but um, it didn't really help. After I decided that that wasn't going to work, I just decided to freehand them based on where I could see them on the original image layer. I don't, I don't know. I think that the freehanding really worked. I think it added a level of creativity to it and personalization. Okay, at this point I was just done and I just started outlining from what I could see and yeah, I just kept double checking, making sure they were looking okay on top. Ugh. Excuse me going back and forth so many times. I'm in the middle of a mental breakdown at this point. Okay, and this is it. I'm just finishing up the whisker here. And this is the final product. I like how it turned out. You can tell that it's still not a photograph, it still has that artsy feel, but it was pretty easy to accomplish as long as you've got a lot of time in your hands. It's more time consuming than it is than anything, right? Yeah, more than anything. But at the end, you get this cool image that you could probably just create with an app, but... Um... But who has time for that <laughs> when you have time to do all this? <laughs> this is that that personal touch to it. You can actually say that I drew this though, which is an app. Technically I traced it, but yeah, I like how it turned out. I think she's cute. I can't, I'm not, I'm not a good voice actress. No, you do it. Here she is. I didn't do, I, didn't, I think, I think, I, I don't know. Let me, let me try, let me try. Start from the beginning. Can you, can you do like one over your top Look, of Look, it's not even, oh, is this still recording? Thank you.